my condenser unit is up and running now my new condenser unit brand is real Trip around the country, all 50 states. Yeah, they're with Simpsons. They're taking care of this stuff. They're replacing it. Randy, Corey. I'm gonna fire it on the air conditioner inside. So I'm, we're saying goodbye to this. Yeah, say bye. Yeah, say bye bye. <laughs> 40 years. Thank you for your 40 years of service. <laughs> it's hard, hard drawn. The copper is hard instead of soft. Oh. When okay. it's hard, you can't bend it by hand. It's soft, you can. Oh. Uh, big ones. Are... It don't matter. Whatever I can cut this thread with. I've been trying to tell Phil to let me get another pair. I never wore mine out. I've got a pair. I'm gonna have to get a wheel for it. This is the nitrogen? No, this is a RX-11. It's a cleaner. To kind of clean the inside? Yeah, it cleans inside the copper. Ah. We got to get that old oil out of there and yeah. anything that may be in there. That's uh, the nitrogen? Nitrogen compressed. Oh, yeah. Kind of... Uh, you used to come over the little one kind of prime it out, prime it up. That nitrogen cleans it too? Well, it gives it pressure to push it through. Oh, okay. Like it push it through. Did it finally come through? Mm -hmm. Alright, blow through the liquid side. See what, how it comes through. I know it felt like it had a restriction, that's why I was trying to... Burn, you didn't. No, get down in that cut. <laughs> oh, that stuff does burn when it gets in the cut. Yeah, that guy, he rides around and he found out that we're getting rid of that damaged old condenser unit. So he got it for himself. I think he's gonna make around maybe five dollars for it by selling it to the scrapping place. This is shady. Dryer points towards the house, right? Yeah, towards the uh, back, right? Away from the condenser. Like that? Yeah. Air always points away from the condenser. Yeah, I just want to make sure that was right. Yeah, Is that copper right there? Oh, yeah. I could tell by its color. I, I would have started putting heat on that aluminum, it would have melted away. Yeah. Took a torch. I had someone that wanted to learn, you know, see how the difference between copper and aluminum. And I took a torch. I had my own torch at home. And uh, I took my torch and I had a piece of aluminum. I had a piece of copper. I sat there on that copper. It took before it started actually burning a hole in the copper. It took about ten minutes. As soon as I put on the uh, aluminum, it burned a hole in it, just like that. I've tried 
This this is like a copper cutter, huh? Mm -hmm. yeah. Tubing cutter. A tubing cutter. Mm. Copper tubing. Because once this gets all done, it will be cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> be cool. That's, we hope so. Yeah. <laughs> But definitely, uh, it was really obvious that the other one had to be replaced. You had to because yeah. you couldn't use it at all. Yeah. It leaked out. It leaked out. Mm -hmm. Five, ten minutes. Ready? Yeah. That's a start plug. What do you call that? Black thing? A dryer. A dryer. Oh, that's a dryer. It's a filter dryer. Oh, that's a, there's a fire for that. What's that for? That's what heated up here. It melts this onto the onto the fitting. Okay, it melts. Mm -hmm. You watch and just say here. Okay. You see, it, it'll start melting. Yeah. Once it gets up to the heat. Yeah. That's where it wheels the feed together. That what makes it uh the, the wheel. Uh, like yeah. the that's your two feedings. Uh -huh. it, it'll go right there in that center. That's what seals it up. Oh okay. Yeah. But when it rains, it's okay to get to get wet, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, oh, it's, wow. it's made for outside. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, the blue is the big line, red is small. Someone had it mixed up one day, and I was so used to the blue line, you know, being on the big line. <laughs> I hooked the blue one on the big line, and it ended up being on the small side. <laughs> Tell you what, take that red one back off. Let me blow through them one time. And this is the pressuring port? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Because they want it, you want it to be equal. No, well, they will eventually equal out. They'll, they'll eventually equal out. Oh, yeah. I just want to make sure it don't go down. Mm -hmm. You can come up if it wants to, but it oh, don't yeah. want to go down. Mm -hmm. I'll make sure we ain't leaking inside. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Vacuum pump. Vacuum pump step? This step is a vacuum stage. Vacuum stage. Oh, okay, yeah. We gotta pour it all, any yeah. kind of moisture mm. yeah. that's in the system. We oh, gotta, okay. We got to dehydrate. You have to dehydrate. Yeah. You gotta, because it has to be dry. Mm -hmm. No no moisture. Mm -hmm. Inside. Yeah. It causes burnouts. Pressure mm -hmm. burnouts. Mm -hmm. Uh, because if it has some water in it, then it could cause compression burnout. Yeah, compressor burnout. Compressor burnout. Plus, it doesn't cool properly. Oh, it's okay. not yeah. Mm -hmm. And after the vacuum stage, there's a. Uh, then we open up, open up these. Uh, Mm -hmm. Valves and mm -hmm. uh, cut around and charge it if necessary. Oh, okay, or, yeah. Or, mm -hmm. or, uh, yeah. Take some out if necessary. Mm -hmm. But that's pretty much would be the end stage. <laughs> Yeah.
Yeah, that's the vacuum pump. Right? Yeah, the vacuum pump. Okay. Yeah, it's already finished now. My condenser unit is up and running now. My new condenser unit. Brand is we. That's good. Yeah, it's up and running now. That's real. Yeah. So the 81 is the actual temperature in the hallway. Oh, okay, the actual temperature. That's what it's showing that it is. Yeah. All right, so this, the 74 mm -hmm. is what, the, what he's got set on. So it yeah. should, when it hits that 74, mm -hmm. it should, the unit should cut off. It's going to take several hours to get it down. I would leave these doors hmm? kind of cracked open. Which doors? Oh, your doors. Oh, this doors? Yeah, because uh, like that. that way you got an uh, yeah. air can pull out, yeah. turn out from the room. Oh, okay, to circulate. Yeah. Well, these things here, probably three weeks to four weeks. Yeah, because this is they, yeah. these are very thick. They, they catch a lot of stuff. It all. Uh, it, that affects all that could damage also the condenser unit if I don't replace that well, it, it, your it, air. it'll make it, it flood and switch the air the, re, the refrigerant will start flooding yeah. back into because the, I thought that with its appearance it didn't look too dirty to me that's why I thought that it's still okay now it, it, if you look at it and look through it it's not right, real bright what was the next stage after the vacuum stage after that these valves yeah. were closed off from the factory. Oh, okay. Freon was yeah. stored in the compressor. Oh, yeah. I opened okay. those up and mm -hmm. allowed the Freon to go to the evaporator. Oh, okay. And uh, yeah. after we started running it, I had to add some more Freon. Oh, okay. Yeah. But now we don't have any Freon leak issue. It didn't show any. I had uh, yeah. okay. 300 pounds of pressure on it for a little while yeah. and it didn't oh, move. So. Yeah. Okay. If it's a leak, it, yeah. it hasn't started yet. So. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. That's that's only uh, thing about the coils inside. Mm -hmm. This this Freon has more pressure. It, it, it produces more pressure. Okay. It can get up before this is cut off. It's, it's right at 600 pounds of pressure. Oh, gotcha. That thing's tested for 450 mm -hmm. pounds. Yeah. But normally these things won't mm -hmm. get. It's not gonna run 450 yeah. pounds. Oh, okay. But mm -hmm. if they get stopped up or yeah. something and run a hot head, mm -hmm. they, they can get up to 600 pounds before they shut off. Mm -hmm. That's the only concern I ever have about putting them on a uh, yeah. coil not designed for them. Mm -hmm. But that did say it was 410 coil as well. Mm -hmm. Looks like we're almost finished. We're finished. Yeah.